Today we're going to talk about baker's percentages or baker's math. I know, you may be thinking, all I want to do is to make bread, not to sit in a math class. However, it is very helpful to at least get an idea on something that's important in your sourdough bread making journey. In a large bakery, to determine how many loaves of bread you can make depends on how much flour you have at hand. To make it easy for bakers, the quantity of each ingredient is calculated as percentage based on how much flour they have. You may think, yes, it is handy for a bakery, but we are just home bakers. Why do I need to understand that? Well, understanding baker's percentage will help you first, quickly scale up and down a recipe, and two, which is the most important reason when making sourdough bread, is to determine how wet or dry the dough you will be working with and what the end bread might be like when baked. When using baker's percentage, each ingredient in a formula is expressed as a percentage of the flour weight, and the flour weight is always expressed as 100%. Let's go through a simple calculation to understand how this works. The ingredient percentage equals to total weight of ingredients divided by total weight of flour and multiplied by 100. Let's look at this sourdough bread recipe. As mentioned above, when using baker's percentage, the flour is represented as 100% and all the other ingredients are expressed as a percentage of the flour's weight. We can begin to express the formula as follows. To determine the percentage of the other ingredients, we divide the weight of each one by the weight of the flour and then multiply the result by 100 to convert it to a percent. By simply looking at the percentages, we can ascertain important things about this bread. For one thing, we know at a glance that the bread has a 70% hydration level. Hydration is defined as the percentage of liquid in a dough, again, based on flour weight. This is the most important details for baker when looking at a recipe, because if you are a first-time sourdough baker, you really don't want to go with any hydration that is over 75%. High hydration dough is harder to work with because it's going to be very sticky, so it's not recommended for new bakers. When making sourdough bread for the first time, try to stick with something that is about 65-70% to hydration. Now with this formula, you know how to find out how much hydration of a recipe is. Let's say you found a recipe that you like, and by working with the formula above, you found out that the hydration level is 75%. You want to change it to 65%, so you are more comfortable working with the dough. Here's how you can calculate it. Let's say the total weight of the flour in that recipe is 450 grams. You want to use 65% hydration, so you will use 65 divided by 100 and multiply by 450, and that gives you 292.5. And now you know how much water is needed, which is 292.5 grams. You can just run it up to 293 or even 295. People use baker's math for many reasons, but in this video, I'm only focusing on using it to change hydration of a recipe because you almost never have to change the starter or salt percentage. So why would you want to consider changing the hydration of a given recipe? As mentioned previously, you are a new baker and you want a dough that is easier to handle. Second, high hydration sourdough creates a naturally thinner and crispier crust. And third, it can be easier to attain a more open crumb with high hydration sourdough, but of course, not always. Because open crumbs occur due to fermentation, not always water content. This is just a possibility. And fourth, high hydration dough will be stretchy and extensible, which makes it perfect for processes such as lamination. This is good if you're wanting to laminate in some additions. And quick note. When using different types of flour, it also changes the hydration level of the dough. Whole grain flour absorbs water more quickly, so if a recipe calls for bread flour, but you want to add some whole grain flour in there, I recommend that you add 5% water back to the dough for every 10% of whole grain to bread flour replacement. Hope you find this video helpful and you will now try to make your own delicious sourdough bread. Thanks so much for watching.